It was full-blown spring, and one morning Allie and I hopped in Old Blue and headed toward the valley in the rising sun. We had coffee in the cup holders and big smiles of anticipation for all the blooms we might see. spotted tulips and daffodils in a small neighborhood at the edge of the valley and got out to walk around and soak in the sights, sounds, and smells. of spring were in full force, but this little hidden garden with pink petals blowing in the wind stole the show. So after admiring this spring haven, we kept cruising until we came across the tag sale in a funny little used appliance store. You just can't beat the charm of a small town. And so I got a $2 toolbox and an apple bucket, and the chase for spring blooms continued. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> I could drive all day through these back streets, just digging all the little details. I love imagining the stories baked into the landscape to the hum and clank of old blue. It feels like I'm in a different time period. The whole experience is therapeutic. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Before I show you the rest of the spring blooms, I just want to talk to you about something really important, which is mental health. Everybody has some form of thing going on behind the scenes. We all do. We all have stuff we don't talk about. And that's why I'd like to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp, because they're making it easy to talk to a professional counselor online. This isn't a crisis line or self-help. This is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can be in the comfort of your own home and work with someone who's truly matched for you. BetterHelp has over 15,000 counselors in all different areas of expertise, and you wouldn't be able to find a network like this in your local area. This is a worldwide network. So you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating the perfect match 
so you can change your counselor for free at any time. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and there's financial aid available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Well, now that Hudson's chasing the chickens, I've got a special offer for all you damn good kids. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp, that's H-E-L-P dot com slash trout. And now back to chasing spring flowers. So the chase continued, and the further into the valley we got, the more hues we saw. Trees blooming like rainbows on the roadsides, touches of color in every corner, a masterpiece that only Mother Nature can paint. keeping my eye on old blues oil, as Mason and I were still in the middle of our repairs. Now that the sun was high and hot, it was time for us to head back to the office and get to work behind our computers. And then at night, we started working on our kitchen renovation. And then the next day, back to Uncle John's garage with Mason to continue the old blue journey. I was learning so much about that old machine while watching the Highlands come to life right outside the garage doors. Mason's girlfriend Yolani, and we had a beautiful dinner. And a few days after, Mason and I met Jack at his property to scope out some of the work he was planning to do there of which included tearing down the old rotted house, which was full of fungus and wasps, and making space for a big garden. Oh, maybe. And then it was back to work on the truck, chipping away into the evening. late nights working on the kitchen. And my spring coffee blends arrived, and my excitement for the season was bubbling as we planned a few more trips to chase flowers, as well as planning a few small fishing outings with Pops. And after we finished the kitchen remodel, which you can watch in a previous video, Allie started putting it to use making all the things she loves, including her homemade nut milk. And we had some good stretches of early morning workouts and healthy breakfasts. And every day when we'd head to the office, the hillside would be more and more colorful. And the side streets of our little town were livening up too. Blooms in the trees, the smells and sounds of activities. Our sleepy town was waking up and readying for the warm months ahead. 
And so the next step on our to-do list was rearranging the office, the biggest task of which was the basement. It had turned into a storage area and wasn't very functional, and I wanted to change that before the rush of summer. And in the mix of all this, Allie and I decided we would bring a dream we both shared to life and start a greenhouse. We planned to keep it at the cabin, and so we went to my parents' house to pick it up one sunny morning and were immersed in the spring blooms. So we assembled the greenhouse over the course of a couple days, and by the time we were done, we realized that we wouldn't have the time to be there every day to water and care for it all, so we would need to find somewhere else to keep it. And one day I helped Mason with a deck he was building too. And with Jack's project on the horizon, it seemed like this year was going to be another one full of machines and hard work for the gang. some leftover butcher's block from the kitchen build to make some cutting boards, and some old barn wood from John's grandfather's farm to make some shelves. And Allie and I continued rearranging and cleaning the office for the season. And we were cooking every night in our new kitchen, and starting to grow little things here and there, doing everything we could to be more self-sufficient. It was long spring days of filming, editing, balanced with cleaning and helping friends. Clearing things out, we began the final big change to the office basement. for an early walk in town, and we saw the first signs of life in the forest. The colors were electric in the morning sun. <laughs> the sky is so blue, it looks fake. Really like and through all the hecticness of balancing work, projects, and play, Time in the forest is what keeps me at equilibrium. Man. Where? <gasps> nice. I was 
wondering if we'd see any nice eyes. the most green and lively we had seen this year, and being among it all felt rejuvenating. The more tuned in you get to the seasons and the cycles, the more you realize how much a part of it you are. And for me, that realization is a sigh of relief in this modern world. So it was one last check-in on the van before the final paint job, and back to work editing, rearranging, and organizing. And though the in-betweens feel like messy whirlwinds, experience has taught me to remain calm and stay the course. Nothing good comes easy. weather kept us out later some nights, but we always found a way to make up for lost time. Every day was full of unexpected work and projects, like when I shot graduation photos for John's little sister, and then we used the rest of that afternoon to forage our dinner. And my mom was taking time away from her Etsy store to work on her gardens as the yard continued to bloom. Where y'all going? These are crazy. They're starting to turn green. They are. Wow, just a patch. This is so pretty. No, don't go on the road. Come on, get out of the road. <laughs> Come on, chicken. <laughs> I was just getting them away from the road. And so my mom gave us some morels she picked at my sister's house. And then Allie and I went looking for some wild leeks. My best friend John had taught me how to find them and pick them responsibly, so I was passing that knowledge on to Allie for the first time. You never want to pick too many from the same patch, and overall, just use common sense and be respectful of the forest. If you truly care and treat it well, it will return the favor. I'm 
so grateful to have Allie to do all this with. She loves this kind of life just as much as I do. And we nonstop daydream of the day we have a farm and our own chickens and animals and get to live completely off the land. So we picked just enough to make a batch or two of ramp pesto and butter and raced back to check one more spot for another delicacy before dark. I can't believe it. What do yours look like? Yeah, that's good. This is, look at all these. Yeah. We each picked a serving out of clusters sprinkled amongst the wildflowers and then stood and listened to the bird song in the twilight. We could put all the fiddleheads in the bandana. And the sky was the most incredible shade of blue. Little moments that make my heart ache. Smells like onions and rooms. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it really is pungent. Just a handmade Joyce bandana holding fiddle. The cat ones. <laughs> Those were sweet. I wish we had an olive oil sprayer. Because this needs to get wet. We ate well that night, and the next day was a Saturday. And when we walked through town to get lunch, the park was alive for the first time since the pandemic started. Yeah. The streets were full of vibrant spring colors, and for a moment, everything felt like it used to. And that night, Allie made her first batch of ramp pesto, and we put some on our homemade pizza. Yeah, let's do it. Those fish, cow, those brookies, that's all we have are like this. Really? And they cut fish. Worms, you know, him and his wife. His wife caught three of them. He caught the rainbow. <laughs> so cool. Growing <laughs> about it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And then we got to use some new toys for the first time. Ali and I wanted multiple ways to exercise and enjoy the sun this summer. So we got something I've never really tried before, paddle boards.
pushed out under the dreaming tree whose red buds had turned to leaves. And we continued foraging in different spots, making beautiful meals from scratch. And we got addicted to those paddle boards. They're such a great workout, but they're also perfect for just hanging out on the water. And then one day, Allie and I helped clean out her grandparents' basement. They had a small flood, and her grandma needed to reorganize her fabric collection. And so we spent half the day doing that before meeting my dad for our first real outing of the year. We'll be hatching first this year. Uh, the Mother's Day caddis, which is about that size and dark. This will work. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a little vest. <laughs> this is terrible. This What? I love it. It looks great. <laughs> the same route we'd take when I was younger. While my dad would play old blues guys, and I'd occasionally throw on red hot chili peppers. And it seemed like we'd catch fish almost every time. trying different holes as the air started to fill with all sorts of different spring insects. pool, fish were rising.
caught my first trout of the year, a 10-inch native brookie. And though the fish were rising like crazy, we couldn't seem to get another strike. You're surrounded by flies. It's unreal. It's the catasegg layers. I mean, they're going in all directions now. Oh, wow. Way up, you mean? Yeah. That was the big one. He only comes up once. Wow, now no, they're splashing at the tail. Yeah. But that's the big one. It's on this side. Oh, oh, oh my God. That's geez. where we were. It is right where I was. It's exactly where you caught that big one. Yeah. Right? All year round? Or when do they? And when we got home, we all ate a quick dinner and some ice cream sundaes. And my mom left some fresh eggs from the chicken coop on Allie's windshield, which we forgot about until we were nearly home. <laughs> It's on the outside. It was definitely on that side because I picked the one that was off of this side, so it slid over to this side. Wow. In a few days after, we started cleaning up the outside of the office. It hadn't been used for a while and had become overrun with weeds, and we wanted to breathe some new life into this little nook for the summer. <laughs> So for a few days in a row, we dug out every weed by hand, and I took care of a few other to-dos around the place. And slowly but surely, it was cleaning up nice. We wanted to plant veggies in the garden boxes, and make a little oasis of hanging plants in the fire pit area. And one evening, Allie's dad helped us make a small patio area. front of our eyes, a space that was once full of weeds, was starting to feel like the comfortable nook we imagined. And the next few days was back and forth to the flower shop, planting more, weeding more, and fine tuning. And in the evenings, I'd go to Jack's to help him and John with that project. John was operating the big excavator and I was helping him in the little skid steer. We were making some drainage for Jack's driveway, as well as extending the driveway up the hill a bit and leveling the old house. And it felt so good to be working in tandem in the machines again. We both kept looking at each other with huge grins. After completing the oasis, we had one last thing to do. Move the greenhouse from the cabin to the office. So one night, on a nearly full moon, Allie and I drove there late and rigged it up. And the next
next day, we finished the office basement and then moved on to our dream project. What was once just a frequent daydream was the beginning of a new chapter of growth. Mm -hmm.